Hi guys, let's say you've created this clustered bar chart based on this data over here where you have three series of information in each cluster namely service cost, time units, and number of calls. And now let's say you want to add a couple trend lines. Well trend lines will give you some kind of uh, indication of uh, overall movement from period to period and since we're talking about time here it kind of does make uh, sense to include some trend lines so let's say we're interested in the trend line uh, in seeing a trend line for service costs now we go over to the legend and let me switch colors on this so they're more clear distinct service costs is the blue series here so I click on the blue series I can either right click then and say add a trend line or I can go over to layout and go over to trend line so I'm gonna do the right click way so we're gonna say add trend line and then I can choose the type of trend line I want I just want a linear and you can see it's already compiling that you can also ask for the equation to be displayed or not and a couple other tweaks you can do you can forecast ahead let's say this is 10 periods we have 10 periods here let's say we want to forecast for the next three months for the next the coming three months so I could forecast ahead three periods for us a period is a month and so this is in uh, in the same terms as this axis over here so when I hit close not only will I get a trend line, but I will also get a projection of three extra periods. Okay? So that's pretty cool. So I know that in the 10, 11, 12, 13th period, that sales will be some, sale, service costs will be somewhere around 60 to 62 and a half dollars. Okay? Now let's say I want to add a trend line for the time units. Uh, series. I click on the time units, make sure they're all highlighted, then right click, say add trend line, and again I'm going to add a trend line, and this time I also I don't want to project forward, forecast forward, so I'm going to leave it like that. Instead I'm going to ask Excel to display the equation on the chart. I could also change the line style so I can get a different uh, uh, line color than the one that we're seeing for the service cost. You can also change the style of the line, make it dashed, and perhaps a little thicker. And that's good. Okay? And you see the legend updates with each trend line that I add. Now, if I want to fill in this gap on the horizontal axis, I can adjust that by going over to design, select data, horizontal axis and then highlighting maybe an extra three spaces and then over there adding 11, 12, 13. Okay? So that's just a projection. I can do the same thing for number of calls. Again, click on the series. This time we'll do it this way. Go over to layout, trend line, linear trend line you can directly add it right there okay and then if you wanted to edit that trend line you click on it right click format trend line line color let's say we want to make the style a little different and the color a little different and we get something distinct so we can tell apart the different trend lines okay so we learn how to make a trend line, we learn how to forecast with the trend line, we learn how to uh, edit a trend line, and uh, basically uh, also compile, uh, make a uh, legend update so that it indicates what each trend line represents. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tricks tutorial videos on my channel, Jalayer Academy on YouTube. While you're there, subscribe and comment. And while you're watching these videos, be sure to click on the ads that pop up on the right. 
that's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.